Domain and Range of Rational Functions, Quarter 1, Module 8. Let us now find the domain and range of the given rational function. If the rational function is in the form of f of x is equal to ax minus b all over cx minus d, you have observed that both numerator and denominator are linear functions. To find the domain, we need to check the denominator. The denominator must not be equal to zero. So we need to find the restriction of x. Then we have cx is not equal to d. Then divide both sides by c. Therefore, x must not equal to d over c. So the domain is a set of x such that x is an element of real number but x must not be equal to d over c. While the range is in a form or the restriction of range is that y must not be equal to a over c. So you have observed that your a is the leading coefficient of the numerator while your c is the leading coefficient of the denominator. Take note, we can only apply this if both Okay, numerator and denominator are linear functions. Then, the range is a set of y such that y is an element of real number, but y must not be equal to a over c. Example, g of x is equal to 3x plus 2 all over 2x minus 2. To find the domain, so the denominator must not be equal to 0. So the restriction of x, we have, okay, 2x is not equal to 2. We transpose negative 2 on the other side. Then divide both sides by 2. Therefore, x is not equal to 1. Therefore, the domain is a set of x such that x is an element of real number. But x must not be equal to 1. The range, we will use y is not equal to a over c. So, if we're going to check the given rational function, the value of our a is 3 and the value of our c is 2. Therefore, the restriction for range is y is not equal to 3 over 2. Therefore, the range is a set of y such that y is an element of r but y must not be equal to 3 over 2. Next example, the given function f of x is equal to x plus 2 all over x minus 2. The domain, so the denominator must not be equal to 0. So the restriction for x, we have x is not equal to positive 2. Therefore, the domain is a set of x such that x is an element of real number, but x must not be equal to 2. For the range, so we will now use y is not equal to a over c. So you have observed that the coefficient of x is 1 in the numerator and the coefficient of x in the denominator is also 1. So therefore, y is not equal to 1 over 1, or y is not equal to 1. Therefore, the range is the set of y such that y is an element of real number, but y must not be equal to 1. Given h of x is equal to 1 minus 3x all over x, you have observed that the numerator is 1 minus 3x, so we need to arrange this from the highest exponent to the lowest exponent. So we have h of x is equal to negative 3x plus 1 all over x. Now to find the domain, so since we all know that the denominator must not be equal to 0, therefore x is not equal to 0. Then the domain is a set of x such that x is an element of real number, 
but x must not be equal to 0. To find the range, okay, so you have observed that the leading coefficient or the coefficient of x in the numerator is negative 3, while the coefficient of x in the denominator is positive 1. It is understood that there is a positive 1. Therefore, we have y is not equal to negative 3 over 1. Therefore, y is not equal to negative 3. Then, the range is a set of y such that y is an element of real number. But, y must not be equal to negative 3. Given p of x is equal to x squared minus x minus 6 all over x minus 3. Before we find the domain and range of the given rational function, so let us simplify first. So you have observed that the numerator is a quadratic, so we need to find the factors of the numerator. So the factors are x plus 2 and x minus 3. So you have observed that there is a common factor, both numerator and denominator. So we will cancel out the common factor, which is x minus 3. Then, p of x is equal to x plus 2. Now, to find the domain, so let's go back to the given rational function. So the restriction of the domain, so x minus 3 must not be equal to 0. So the restriction of x, so x is not equal to 3. So the domain is a set of x such that x is an element of real number, but x must not be equal to 3. Then the range, so you have observed that uh, the restriction of y is not equal to x plus 2. So we will now substitute the restriction of your x, which is 3. So y must not be equal to 3 plus 2, therefore y must not be equal to positive 5. Therefore, the range is a set of y such that y is an element of real number, but y must not be equal to 5.